Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. I forgot what I was saying there. Um, <laughs> anyway, during the last part we uh, finished off heading through um, Disney Castle and also uh, Timeless River. And now we move on to this next part, which is... Um, it is definitely my least favourite part of the whole damn game. Uh, in today's part, we're doing our first section of Atlantica. Uh, I'm just... I fucking hate it. <laughs> it's just... I can talk about this now. I suppose. It's just... Um, it's kind of pointless to me on two parts, because on the first part, from a story perspective, it doesn't really add anything to the actual plot of Kingdom Hearts 2, because there's no nothing to do with um, Organization 13, uh, nothing to do with... Um, <clears throat> sorry. Nothing to do with um, Maleficent and Pete and all that. Uh, so nothing, it just doesn't really add anything. And then there's the fact that it pretty much, from the story perspective of the actual area itself, it is just retelling the same story that was told in Kingdom Hearts 1, where it was just the game, where it was just the movie's story of, you know, you know, Ariel wanted to explore the, you know, the, the, you know, the world above the sea uh, and all that kind of s stuff and, you know, it's just, it's the story of Little Mermaid, you know, just, you know, everybody knows that fucking story. Um, so on that part, it's kind of pointless, which would be fine if uh, it was like, you know, I wouldn't care quite so much as if the were the world itself was fun to go through if it had a lot of good combat, it had good battles, it had good um, boss fights. But it doesn't. <laughs> it's just a singing a, a bunch of singing of musical mini games that you have to complete. And I think that and I think that the big problem, well, the big problem for me that it had uh, was really that we already have a mini game world. We have like 100 Acre Wood. And that is, in my opinion, I don't like 100 Acre Wood either, don't get me wrong. But at least that's, it has a, you know, a different selection of mini games. It does different things each, each time. Uh, and it, there is a reason as to why you're doing it in regards to the plot. Like, you know, the Heartless ripped up the book and you having to re repair it. That's, you know, it does make a, a certain amount of sense. Um, with Atlantica, it's just pretty much... We're going to have a singing minigame because, you know, Disney and... The Little Mermaid and all that kind of stuff, and it's just. It's just not necessary, it's not needed, and, um. It's always the part which I find the most. boring. The part which I always kind of don't look forward to. Um, and it's not even like. It wouldn't be so bad because basically there's four or five. Um, sections for you to do in this world. So the world's not long. But the problem that they have it, is, is that it would be fine if it, you know, you unlocked Atlantica and you could just go through all five in one go, get it out of the way and get it done. But you can't. <laughs> because the reason is that the first world unlocks now. The first part unlocks now. Once you've... Um, you know, after you've finished um, Disney Castle, oh, the night sky is so beautiful. right. So the right that's summer. when the first area unlocks, uh, first part of this world unlocks, and then the second part of the world unlocks when you ha 
Uh, but then you can't do any of the rest of it. You have to wait until... The second visit, I think, doesn't start until after you've beaten... You've finished the... Um, Port Royal, the Pirates of the Caribbean world. Um, how is she, how is she uh, breathing out, um, out of the water? I don't know. And how does she get out of here so quickly? I don't know. <laughs> Basically, it's just a retelling of the story, a retelling of the movie's story. It doesn't really do anything. Gameplay-wise, it's dull, and I just don't. It's just not... I just feel as if you could completely remove this world, this... The Little Mermaid world, Atlantica, and nothing of value would be lost. But... I, I've complained now. Let's move on. Because <laughs> fortunately this is only one part, Girl, Atlantica, and then we're me. done for a little Girl while. <laughs> Wow, he re that's really bad animation. There's the eels. Those annoying pieces of shit. And now it's time for Atlantica. Something positive. Uh, the logo's nice. <laughs> uh, there's not a lot to be positive about here, though. You know, I will be positive about something, because I didn't like the way... The control, the underwater controls were in Kingdom Hearts One, especially doing battles. Sora, so it's Donald, Goofy. so it's kind of nice that you don't have to bother with those controls all that much in this version, in the Kingdom Hearts Two version. But once as, as I say again, it's just a bunch of mini games. So I just then you boys got to so I just think it kind of sucks. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> At least uh, Flounder has a voice this time, unlike in Kingdom Hearts 1. So yeah, it's pretty easy. The swimming controls, to be fair. Just lock on, talk. Uh, you can get close to the target with X. Okay, whatever. Yeah, after that he now knows. Why are you talking about dens? Oh, right then. Okay. <laughs> I never got that. Why did... Um... Oh, what's his name? The Crab. I can't remember his name. Uh, Sebastian. Fuck. I never worked out why Sebastian had a... Um, had a... Uh, what's the word? Caribbean, you know, Jamaican accent. Do, are there a lot of hermit crabs in the Caribbean? I don't know. <laughs> it's... Kind of silly, <laughs> but nah. Minor nitpick. Oh shit! Here we go. So yeah, this is pretty much what the game is. It's kind of difficult to time. So you're gonna have like a circle come up, and once it fuck, I messed up, messed up. Basically, once it goes in, it goes into the yellow. Then that's when you want to um, press the button. But is um, I've always found the timing kind of tricky. It's easy enough to get the good, and it's easy enough to get the average. But it's very difficult to get the excellent. Um, the timing is a little bit weird. I've never been able to work out the timing properly. There you go. I got one at least. <clears throat> that's better. Yeah, so basically there are, ba like I say, there are basically going to be five musical numbers for us to do. And it's all about just pressing X at the right time. Um, and it's and each one has a different thing for you to, for you, sorry. <clears throat> each of the five songs has a different thing for you to accomplish. I think... The first one is you have to get something like five or six um, 
I think you have to get four excellence over the course of the song. So it's actually not that hard. You, you don't need a fucking map of this area. So basically all you have to do is come here, talk to Sebastian, and you can get on with it. Song number one. Swim this way. Ah, I wish it was... Ah, the music in this... Oh, God. I hate the songs in this as well. <laughs> they suck. Uh, yeah, so we need one, two, three... So we need five excellence over the course of the whole song, which is... It, it's not ridiculously hard. I manage it first attempt. And... But something else you've got to keep in mind as well, if you get a bad, that knocks an excellent off. So it's all about trying to make sure your timing is um, perfect. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I can't fucking get an exit to save my life. Damn it. Motherfucker. Why am I doing... never mind. Sora using her keyblade, I'm... his keyblade, sorry, fucking hell. I'm sure that's cheating. Go on. Yay, I got one. Probably wasn't a good idea to use lightning and magic underwater, but whatever. There we go, we got another one. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Keep going. You can do it. Damn it. <laughs> I just thought, you know, Jesus. I don't see the point of this. <laughs> I really don't see the point, but whatever. That's three out of five. Damn it. Come on, man. And... Yes! We need one more. One more. It's always X, I think. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Now I need to get another one. Damn it. I was really hoping that I didn't fuck this up. <laughs> I didn't want to do it again. <laughs> there we go. One more. I guess I only need a four. There you go. I've cleared it. I cleared it at the very least. Who cares? <laughs> Just get it done. <laughs> really, I kind of fucked up a number of times there, to be honest. Nah, I'm too busy being dumbass. <laughs> Because just come off as a dumbass in both this Your and in King Hearts 1. It's kind of... Yeah, it's less so in the movie, but it's really apparent in these versions. No, everything's fine. Not a heartless in sight. Your Majesty, our guests, they want to sing in the musical. Well, that sounds like a splendid idea. Please, ah, oh, Triton, you could have gotten me out of this mess. For God's sake, dude, help me out, for fuck's sake. I don't think that's going to help, King. If I'm brutally honest, I don't think that's going to help. I've seen the plot. <laughs> wow, this guy's a fucking stalker. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to come. To have a lot of finny fun. That's the voice I heard. Fuck off I'm with sure your finny fun. fun. <laughs> Hello? Where are you hiding? Take your shoes off, you I fucking you're idiot. <laughs> Before you go in the water. Please, uh, come out so I can thank you. I think it's a different voice actor for... I don't think it's the same voice actor as in the movie for the, um... Uh, for Prince... Ariel. Is he Prince? I think I'm pretty sure he's a Prince. Prince Eric, I think it is. Something strange again. Probably been flitting around on the surface. Oh, the Sea King's gonna have my class for this. Come on, we gotta keep rehearsing. 
How is it your fault, Sebastian? Sorry, I don't feel like it. <laughs> you spoiled bitch. Um. <laughs> I've got an idea, Sebastian. You do? Oh, that voice acting. Well, not the voice acting, the, uh, the facial animation was pretty poor. Okay. But that's what I mean, this kind of world is just, this world is just pretty much singing and dancing followed, uh, if, you know, mini games followed by a lot of, a lot of cutscenes. <laughs> I don't, I don't see the point. It's not for me. Better than go to yeah, Donald's got a point. Time to move this shit. Yeah, and this is pretty much their reasoning as to why you can't continue the story. We need magnet to to move the treasure, and we can't don't get magnet uh, until we he head to the Pirates of the Caribbean world. So, we can't really do much about that. So, that's the first section of um, Atlantica done. Oh god, we're doing this in this part as well, are we? <laughs> oh, let's get the redundancy out of the way. Because we've got our first... Um, <clears throat> sorry, we've got our first torn page. So, let's head into Hundred Acre Wood and get the first mini game done and out of the way. I always found this guy's voice really fucking irritating. <laughs> All the whistles and shit. I think all these were the same voice actors who did the... 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 <clears throat> sorry. I think they were all the same voice actors who did the TV show from what I remember, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think that's true. But I think that's the case. No bother. Let's see now. Who is everyone? Hundred Acre Wood I think is a bit better than Atlantica just because there is some areas for you to explore. There's some um, chests for you to get, uh, and as well as the mini games being more various and varied. Shit, that must have hurt. <laughs> Got hit in the back of the head with a ceramic vase. God damn it, Piglet. What the fuck are you doing? Hold on, little guy. So yeah, the first mini game is we've gotta save Piglet. Who's hanging onto a tree. This is what I mean here. You've got you can there is um some stuff for you to find here. So we've got some chests. Got a muscle gem. AP boost, that's very nice. We've got ourselves a puzzle piece. And I think this is just the is this the um map? No, it's a defense boost. I don't think you get a map here, actually, to be fair, because I think it's all you just go, go to one area. Yeah, I'm trying to work out. This took me a little bit, I remember. I get that. There we go. I think you just have to stand exactly directly under him. It's a little bit finicky. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Piglet is saved, so I guess that's it. We're done. <laughs> oh, if only. If only. Do you mean Wednesday? Ah, for fuck's sake. Pooh, you are a dumbass. So yeah, he doesn't hasn't just forgotten um, Sora. He's also forgotten who Piglet is. Sorry. <laughs> he's also forgotten who Piglet is. And so I think this is pretty much going to be, this is pretty much what the um, torn pages are, pretty much. It's just, you do the mini game, uh, you do the mini game, and that pretty much puts in a, uh, it repairs a bit of uh, Pooh's memory. So, nice and easy. This first one is actually kind of fun, uh, the blustery rescue. This is kind of a fun mini game. I don't mind this. You just whack shit to pick up honey. 
like fucking uh, and the best it, 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 <laughs> shit I've dropped poo grab poo grab it um, there is a reaction command that you can use here called Wii Tornado um, uh, what that does is if you press triangle on the tornado it causes like a massive tornado to spurt up uh, and it destroys all the stuff in the area so you can get more equipment these things are a little bit more difficult you can just keep mashing the button here like press triangle and boom destroyed all the trees yeah and the honey pots you can just smack multiple times to get um, smack multiple times to get a load of honey uh, and the trees are the most difficult things to break and in this section when you've got stuff coming from up and below you it's just above and below you sorry it's best to just uh, constantly be pressing the X button and you, it's like it's like uh, Sonic doing a constant um, homing attack in the air pretty much like a constant like spin dash by the way wasn't that trailer awful for that move um, <laughs> there we go keep doing it there you go oh we got a fuck ton there that was awesome and once you find Piglet press triangle you're done like I say nothing too taxing but a pretty fun mini game to be fair um, one of the more fun ones in my opinion you can do it, Piglet. You just have to be brave. Sora. This is Piglet we're talking about. You do realize that, Sora. <laughs> All right, Sora. Off to try. I have my hands. I do like that animation, to be fair. And Sora is a complete nut oh, of fucking moron. <laughs> you can't fucking catch to save his life, apparently. Like I say, complete the minigame and now he remembers who Piglet is. I think I shall call you my friend Piglet who is very brave. Me? That's too long of a name, Pooh. No. Way it's too long. To brave when I have a wonderful friend like you, Pooh. That oh. These mouth animations are so bad. <laughs> oh, and thank you for rescuing my friend Piglet. Somebody I don't know. Oh. Uh, yeah, he'll sure. finally find out don't who remember who we are who Sora is by the um, time we finish uh, once we've got all the torn page pages back but that's page number one done to be fair you can just leave the torn pages until right at the end you know not bother with them uh, until you've collected all of them but uh, get them out of the way anyway <laughs> that's it for this part of um, K uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 uh, so in the next part, we're going to be heading to the next world of the game, uh, which is Port Royal, the Pirates of the Caribbean world. Weirdest one, to be f to be fair, just in terms of um, how Sora and the rest of the gang look compared to the characters in Pirates of the Caribbean. But anyway, that's it for this part. Join me next time for the next part of Kingdom Hearts 2. <sighs> See you next time.